Hello everyone. In this video, let's uh, do a love triangle reading. We have you. This is kind of you. Person number one, person number two. Person number one is your partner about whom you want to ask this question. Uh, person number two is the person that you think your partner is having an affair with. And in this video, I'll ask what their, your partner is thinking about you and what are they thinking about the person number two. It can be an agenda, okay, an agenda. And I can also ask what person, the other person thinks about your partner so that we know how strong and how harmonious is their relationship and will it last. So... So yeah, if you'd like to participate, please think of your persons, number one and number two, and we'll start this reading. You can choose sev several options, you can choose for your friends, family, and you know, for yourself. Take your time, please. have chosen. So let's start with our deck number one every day which is tarot deck. So what does Person number one, your main partner, think of you. Case of swords can be a, a very, uh, a person who's very decisive, very straightforward, very kind of no nonsense type of person. Now, this card can point to someone very strong as a person, not afraid of anything, very um, someone who can you know, talk uh, their mind openly, who's very strong and who has a certain intimidation when it comes to other people. Yeah, they might find you intimidating for some reason. They might uh, see that you can see through them, you know, like you can understand everything, you can guess everything, and you would immediately say what you think about them. You know, you're very straightforward and honest and just very almost psychic person who sees things also there's a little bit of a like a not violence but it can be that they see you as someone who gets maybe mad very quickly and it's like black and white type of situation that if you're doing this and I, that it, this is it you know so that sort of situation now um, what does your partner think about that other person? The tower. Well, they might think that, you know, they're not with that other person because they see that other person kind of broke up with them. Like, they're not together. Like, it's over. Some bad news is happening. Some things... Like, their relationship is not happening or something. Now, what that other person thinks about your person. Again, four of swords, nothing, nothing is happening. They are absolutely passive towards them. Looking at it, these cards, seems that they are not seeing each other right now, that they are undergoing a breakup. They're not together anymore. Um, so yeah, the, the second person thinks that they are absolutely non-active in their life, not messaging, not calling, not doing anything, things like that. What are your partner's, your love interest feelings towards you right now? A ten of pentacles seems like family, like your husband and wife, like you're living together. And overall, there is this union, some sort of connection when it comes to family. 
you know, common house. It can be common relatives, friends, you know, common life, possessions, that sort of thing. So they feel at home with you and they kind of feel like a family man or a woman with you. What are their feelings towards her or him? Verse number two. Well, Queen of Cups, so we have uh, kind of loving feelings, so gentle feelings. Maybe they still have feelings for that person, although they are not together anymore, or maybe they broke up just now or had a fight or something. But there still are some sort of feelings. Friendly, gentle, I don't know. What does person number two feel about your partner, your love interest? The star, well, the star can also be like romantic something going on, fantasies and feelings of hope, you know, maybe that they'll meet again or that they are the special someone, you know, for that person sent to them by destiny and uh, things like that. If they are not together, you know, it could be that there is a sense of that they'll never meet or, you know, so like fantasy can be that sort of feeling. Okay, what are your partner's intentions towards you? Queen of Swords. Intentions are most likely... to uh, again be open with you be straightforward and um active talking you know basically socializing and being with you um somehow so yeah, i would say continuing your relationship would be their intention towards you now the style of that relationship and the way you talk and communicate this is a different question I think it's more as a matter of factly a bit cold you know type of uh, communication but yeah I think they want you to know that you're the boss that you're the main one and that, that they're gonna be with you and all that stuff now what is their intentions towards person number two what are their intentions towards person number two The Empress. Well, intentions also seem to be um, like meeting them again or um, being with that person again and, you know, um, like still not forgetting that person, not cutting that person off from their life. Maybe they want to reconcile with that person or something. If... Two of Cups. Five of Wands. Well, I think they want to keep that relationship. They want to drag it. They want to kind of be in there with her, you know. Although, interesting, we have a separation right now. Maybe they're just talking about the fact that they want to separate, that she wants to break up with him, and he is aware of that. But he's not doing anything. He's neither um, separating or anything. I think he still has feelings. And what are her intentions towards your person? Hermit. See, she is not that into them like, as, like they are into her. You know, Hermit, of course, can be leave me alone type of thing. And she wants to stay away from them. And, uh, you know, maybe she wants to have distance or time, you know, to herself right now. So, basically, she's not that passionate about them. Why not? We have the Nine of Wands. It can be something about their personality, for example, violence, some sort of bad behavior, the way they speak, maybe they're verbal, verbally abusive, maybe they said something. So basically there's something that she doesn't like about their personality that 
bothers her and she just didn't like that and she thinks they're not that good of a guy anymore okay so let's have a look at what will happen um, between you and your partner ten of wands is most likely you will stay together even though the relationship might not be always perfect it can be a totally married relationship because that's how it looks when it's a married relationship you know responsibilities you know promises just um life you know difficulties and you know you kind of live from day to day and that sort of life now what will happen between your partner and her Queen of Wands, we have another female. It, now, if you're a fire sign, it might be that it's you who is standing in between them. If it's if she is a fire sign, for example, it can be that she will... Uh, it depends on how will she decide. Let's see if she'll say that, okay, that's it. Uh, it will be, that's it. Also, you know, it can be some other female even one more female that will come in between them and uh, this relationship will kind of end somehow or you know with this card it can still be that you know they will kind of talk although from these cards it doesn't seem like things will change and they will kind of separate advice for you regarding this person five of swords well there's cheating involved there is not they're not treating you nice here you know you shouldn't trust them you know what to do about it well moon is the card that says don't believe it everything that they say there is lots more to it, you know, it's totally um, confusing right now. And, uh, you know, you might actually end up living with this person, you know, forever. And they'll be having someone else on the side. It's just like how they are. It can be. You know, like always living like in a group with someone, not only with them, but with their other girlfriend. You can see it's almost like living like them having two wives or something all the time. So it can be that sort of relationship. So I, you can accept it or you cannot, you don't have to accept it. It's up to you. And um, yeah, that sort of situation here. So let's move on to our deck number two now. Love triangle, who he likes more or she. Deck number two, right away it, mini tarot. So this is you. This in this uh, kind of role will have cards that where they rep mm. They will represent their thoughts, feelings towards you. Here we'll have their thoughts, feelings towards that other person. This is your partner. And in this line we'll have second person's thoughts, feelings about your partner. So that we know what's happening between them and is it serious. And should you worry about it. So, your love interests, thoughts about you. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, this card can say that you're simply a very kind of reliable person. You might be like a hard worker, you might be very stable, you might be very loyal, and you might even be someone who brings the money in the house. Uh, can have the element of boredom for some people who don't like that, but usually it's a card of very reliable kind of person where you feel safe around them. Also, this card can, if you're not together right now, for example, if you haven't been together, this card can point to, you know, for example, 
they see you as in a working context, like you're someone who brings them something, like some gifts or some product or some cash, you know, like that sort of situation. Now, what are their thoughts about second person, the other person? They see that person, it can be the person that has connections with uh, distance. The person might be a foreigner, international person. The person might be gone already. The person might not be there. They might be separated from that person. Because when they think of that person, they first think of distance. Like, this person is not with me. What is that person's thoughts? What are those, that, that person's thoughts about your partner? Okay, well this card can also point to many things, it can say that this person is very lovely, very kind of nice, it also if uh, there's something to do with water and water sports and beach, you know, vacation, it can be that they think this person is into some um, like water sport or things like that, it can be totally very innocent something like uh, like thinking that this person is a plumber or this person is working somewhere near the water or near the beach you know things like that and they both have some sort of water connection between each other could be they both met in like near water you know so it can be something to do with you know work or just friendship we cannot understand yet so what are their feelings towards you just as the feelings are very cold I would say very polite very respectable this makes me think that this is a working relationship with you because their feelings are so kind of stern and you know kind of controlled and no emotion is there it can be respectful, but it can be very professional, very cold. So, yeah. Now, what are their feelings towards that other person? Queen of Cups. This card can show her more feelings, like they are friends with her, or maybe they love her or like her. Maybe it's definitely more of casual relationship already um, compared to this, unfortunately. What are her feelings towards them? Well, her feelings can be um, also similar to their feelings, you know. Uh, also, she could care about them, you know, and there might be some sort of physical relationship between them going on, like, you know, sexual relationship, and she just uh, feels safe with them, and she wants to provide safety for them. And there's something like very intimate going on, I think. Like she wants to feed them, she wants to dress them, she wants to, you know, uh, almost like they're together. Yeah, now this distance card seems like mystery. So, what are their intentions towards you? Queen of Swords, you know, most likely to keep having this cold relationship, polite, respectful, professional working, or that sort of relationship where you control your emotions, but you don't show your emotions, and you basically talk very intellectually about things, and it's just, you know, that sort of situation. So I would say they don't, it's not flirting, it's definitely not, they don't have intentions of flirting, you know, right now the have intentions of having this cool face when they're around you. Okay. And what about their intentions towards her? Um, it seems that they want to keep her. <laughs> they want to keep her and have her in their life. Um... You know, unless they are in, for example, 
another relationship and they're afraid to have her, you know, they're afraid to be with her. In that case, it could be that it shows they want to lie to her. Again, like a love triangle situation. There's something that they're not honest about with her too. So it seems that they might uh, play a game or something here. Maybe they told her they're not... They're single, maybe they are not single, maybe something like that, you know. Maybe they want to keep her and keep on, uh, you, you know. So in that case, they might be lying to her. Okay, so let's have a look now at what are her intentions towards them. Her or person number two towards this your love interest okay she also she might also have another relationship and maybe want to be like part time with them in a relationship and they uh, have with, with her some partner of course it doesn't have to always show that you know that's the like affair going on but she also seems to be like undecided and intentions are probably just play with them just talk to them just sometimes meet you know there's no commitment going here now what will happen between you and them we have a uh, family we have uh, money some sort of relationships social so if you work in the same company you'll be working in the same company if you're married you'll be kind of in that marriage interesting cards for married couple but doesn't surprise me seems like like a very professional relationship as a matter of factly after a while you know still so the, the plan is to be with you in some sort of very important social setting now what is the outcome between them two look at that it can be, you know, they'll break up or they'll keep being in that affair situation. Uh, it could be that they will not want to proceed because she has doubts and they're lying and is already not harmonious and healthy. So from this perspective, yeah. Now, what is the advice for regarding this person? Um, well, King of Wands, we can see that person is, you know, likes to decide things for themselves. They might be oh, they might love you despite of um, how does he love you or. It might tell you to simply somehow forgive them or love them, you know, like they are this person, difficult or whatever. But the car could be kind of saying that they cannot, they have like bad self-discipline or, you know, things like that. It could also point to another man that you're having, that you have. And maybe choosing between a... Uh, these two men we have a king of swords as well these are people in your life and I don't know these people but we have Interesting cards going on. Maybe to be patient with them, also to there's to love them, or maybe it's another man that you have to love. There's one air, fire sign, one water sign. 
and、uh, talks about someone cheating and you having to be in an unharmonious kind of relationship where you're not happy. And this is also a person who lies about their, let's say,、uh, activities and their, what they're doing, you know. So, so yeah,、um, I asked, just tell me in one card what is the advice. And we have the tower, just break up with them. Well, I don't want to say just break up with them. It can be a rebuild this relationship. This relationship needs changing. This relationship needs talking about. This relationship might need counseling. This might need reconstruction. Like, We have to completely, both of you, change and remodel how you want to be with each other. It can be, you know, like、uh, couples have a crisis and these c r i s i s kind of test them. And then the couple decides do they really want to be with each other and、uh, what do they need to change in themselves、uh, in order to be with each other and whether they can do it or not. So, yeah, that's sort of like a challenge、uh, situation, but you cannot go on the way it is. You have to basically do something, talk, decide,、uh, accept, forgive, not accept, you know, that sort of dilemma. Okay, so this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three now. Deck number three. And this is the Witch's Tarot. Surprisingly beautiful deck. I didn't expect that. I don't like the real human kind of decks, but this has humans like photos and it's realistic, but it's nice. Okay. We're reading about. <clears throat> okay, so first let's have a look. Okay, so this is you. Here to come their thoughts, feelings about you. Her person's number two thoughts, feelings about your partner, and their thoughts, feelings about person number two will come here, okay? So, what are your love interest thoughts about you? Queen of Swords. Well, you're strict, you're mean, you might be very kind of, you know, like judgmental.、Uh, let's say I'm over dramatizing here. So, they might see you as this really someone serious and intelligent and no nonsense again. Um, maybe they're afraid to like joke around around you because you would、uh, start lecturing them or criticize them, <clears throat> so they feel a bit、uh, like a tensed around you. Let's see, they might think that you are this、uh, very strict person who is gonna tell, tell them off. Okay, what are their thoughts about person number two? King of Wands. Well, their thoughts about person number two is if it's a male person or a female person, can be also that this person is very strong, very can be popular, hot, you know, a person is very kind of. If it's a female, she might have someone in her life. It might be a person who has achieved a lot in their career, business, like. Like great business they have, or, or something like that, like great ambitions are there,、uh, great knowledge, great level of knowledge, maybe they adore their work or what they do. So, overall, there's also like definitely they think this person is very strong, this person has lots of 
energy around them and uh, can point to them having some amazing career going on or if it's a female she might have this husband who's like that now person's number two thoughts about person number one which is your love interest okay three of swords of course it says that um the thoughts might be that the person is upset sad or that it's not for them the person is not for them um, like they might not believe that relationship might work out they might also think that the person has like broken heart or for example like scars on their face or had gone through surgeries like they had difficult life difficult experiences also might be they might think that they are cheating or something so something sad and dramatic is um, about them can also they might be thinking that this person is simply not with them the person is unattainable what is your love interest thoughts or feelings about you towards you well seven of pentacles we have this kind of waiting kind of hoping um it's like thinking you know um wondering whether you're right for them whether you talk to them whether you'll not talk to them so they feel like they've uh, already kind of invited to propose propose to you like they seem there um they showed their interest towards you now they're waiting, waiting for your answer and you might be not giving for any answers so they might feel like this is kind of not sure where it's going and what's happening and um, they'll have to wait for a while to see you know what will happen so let's see you can see doubt waiting patience needed here in the situation uh, but also there is a sense that opportunity that you might be quite good for them you know that hope is there but still not really they think it's your turn now to basically say something do something you know What are their feelings toward person number two? Well, the sun it can be love, actually, with the sun, love and youth and beauty, and like they lift them up, the energy is there, very masculine energy, I would say. They feel happy about that person, they might feel light and easy, and they might feel in love and somehow pretty um, kind of relieved and uplifted and all these positive thoughts and feelings so what about um, person number two what are their feelings towards person number one your love interest well they again they think and feel that this person your love interest uh, is far away from them there has been a, some sort of breakup so for them they are not there they are their ex maybe they are their some sort of ex-partner but they are still thinking about them you know so it's kind of one-sided it could be a situation but it could mean that person number two misses person number one what uh, person number one's intentions towards you well judgment is the hope that um, somehow you will uh, meet again that you contact them again that this will be revived your relationship that this person will um, be able to contact you again and there's gonna be some change or something so they are expecting for renewal of this relationship, some sort of reconciliation or a message from you, or they might want to do them do it themselves. Now, what are your love interests' intentions towards verse number two? The high priest. Their intentions can getting married with them. Again, I'll be some sort of um, 
meeting in a place, respectable place. Um, I think marriage is here because it's such a love reading. They would like to have a, like a law, a legal partnership, legal relationship with this person, like serious. You know, it's not flirting. It's something like documents and signing the documents. And um, now, as for a uh, clarification, and as usual, these cards kind of made it more complicated, which shows um, differences in beliefs and core values. There is a conflict going on. Um, about when we talk about beliefs, what society accepts, what society doesn't accept. So it could be actually not marriage, but this person number one is hoping that person number two somehow will maybe um, tune in to their beliefs, change their mind about something, um, decide upon something, you know. It can be a very vital beliefs, you know, where people's some sort of fears and come in, you know, survival, some sort of feelings of survival in the society. When the person is afraid, they might think that they cannot be with this person. So I don't know, let's let's pull one more card. What are their intentions towards person number one? Queen of Wands. So, it could be they just, um, could be a female is coming in, uh, an important woman is coming in, it can be also, they will have a pretext of work um, to get away from this person, for example, they will say I'm busy or my life purpose is something and I have to work on that. So we cannot be together, they might kind of ghost them or avoid them because of work. And um, they might also be with a female, important female, a friend, or simply can represent that person number two, feeling like following their career and doing what they're doing but probably not being with person number one unless person number one is the fire sign female yeah I feel like some sort of re resistance is coming uh, you know or other things like they believe that once they achieve some goal, then the person will be with them, or they first have to do something in order to be kind of wanted, accepted. If we're talking about attraction, this person is most likely will want to control their attraction. So this person has problems with this person. This person is kind of open to them and open to you too. <clears throat> okay. Now what will happen between you and this person? Uh, pentacles can point to work and can point to like sometimes meeting in the house. Yeah, with relatives, having a dinner. If you're already married, um, I could talk about renewing a marriage, kind of improving your relationship and just having a good time at home. If it's not a very old relationship, these cards might talk about introducing uh, each other to each other's families, you know, meeting with parents having family dinners or something like that. Overall, the cards show that you'll have something going on between you two. 
if the we have a presence of a female, we have beauty, we have home. Someone will go to someone's house and there's going to be that beautiful atmosphere. I'm not sure if it's parents or who, who is this woman. But we have something going on between you two. If there are more people between you, like more women, parents, relatives, I don't know, friends, these people might play an important role. You might meet together in their house, third person's house or something like that. Now, what will happen between them and uh, person number two? The shadow side, well, it's unhealthy. We can see unhealthy relationship. Gonna be stuck in indecision and not, either not being able to stay or leave easily. Of course, eventually there'll be a shift. But no, there, there won't be a shift. It's like holding on to something that shouldn't be holding on to. Um, this should go, I think, this relationship. This is very, very difficult. Now, what is the advice for you regarding this person? Your love interest. Two of Cups. Well, as you can see, it means friendship and forgiveness and reconciliations and being together. <clears throat> and maybe if it's a romantic situation, maybe you can give it a go and see where it takes you. So this was our um, our reading number three. And let's move on to our reading number four. <clears throat> Our deck number four is classic tarot. So let's have a look first. What? Um, so this is you. The cards that will come here will be your love interest thoughts feelings about you the guys that will come here will be part number two person's thoughts feelings about your love interest and the guys that will come here will be um your love interest thoughts feelings about the second person so what are their thoughts about you eight of pentacles most likely point to a working some sort of context that they know it through work they see you working all the time or studying so they might think that you're like a colleague or some sort of fellow student um someone who works a lot can be like a housewife as well what um is their thoughts about person number two marriage it can be that they see that person number two as their partner as their spouse wife husband or they might think that you know person number two is married already it's like a happy person and they are living in this with their family it can be of course a celebrity type of person who is known to many many people and they might see them that way now, what uh, person number two thoughts about your love interest? Again, very similar thoughts. Uh, they might think that either they are in a relationship with someone or that they are their spouse or husband or wife or whatever, or boyfriend or girlfriend. So they might totally see them also in a positive light, like the um, someone they like and, you know, there's this attraction. Perhaps, okay, what are your love interest feelings towards you? Well, there is uh, good feelings. As you can see, Knight of Cups, it says that um, feelings are romantic, feelings are emotional, feelings are uh, kind of friendly. Um, they like you, maybe. They, they feel good with you. They, they don't have any negativity when it comes to you. So, also can be sometimes romantic interest, you know, wanting to flirt, wanting to look at you, wanting to talk to you, that sort of feeling of, like, uh, interest, yeah. What are 
their feelings towards person number two. Okay, we have a magician. You might see the person is very valuable somehow and important and a person who is a very interesting, attractive and things like that. Also, there can be going like wanting to teach them something or wanting to learn something from them. So in a way, it can be also saying that um, they're attracted to that person or you think person is very important at work or something like that. Person number two's feelings towards your love interest. All over the tower, we most likely have um, feelings of betrayal or breakup or something like that. Uh, so maybe they think that you know person number one is in a relationship and they're disappointed because of that because they know that they cannot be in a relationship with person number one feelings are definitely of shock and uh, kind of disappointment and, and sadness and like it's not gonna work out or something Let's have a look what are your love interests intentions towards you. Intentions, page of swords. Well, page of swords most likely is like professional, some sort of communication, intellectual, you know, maybe they kind of like you, but you know, kind of, you know, like a friend or colleague, you know, like a person. And they intend to speak to you only about work or just be polite and be kind of normal and nice, not romantic. What are your love interests' uh, intentions towards person number two? Well, here as well, we have some sort of... Um, they, they don't want to let them in. They want to protect themselves from that person. There is uh, some sort of problem, let's say, maybe other people, maybe they have their reasons, maybe someone is not their taste. So overall, the intentions uh, are not so, like not to trust or not to talk or not to do something. So that's a sort of situation. Maybe they're trying they're mad about uh, with that person about something and they don't want to um, talk or something what are person number two's uh, intentions towards person number one well intentions are just get some pleasure let's see sexual intentions physical you know and um they might just want <clears throat> to take things that they want from that person. They're uh, like spend time with that person when they want to, you know, um, just enjoy themselves basically being with that person. Okay, let's have a look. What is the outcome? What will happen between your love interest and you? Well, this card most likely talks about some sort of uh, disappearance of one of you. There's going to be distance and you might not see them. They might not see you. Like, let's say, relationship canceled. Yeah. Um, it seems like ghosting situation, like a refusal to meet, wanting to disappear, thinking that it's the right decision. It could be that after a while you will understand that this is the right decision or they made a decision or something like that. What will happen between your love interest and the person number two? Again, not so good. Um, some apathy. But it's gonna get better. Somehow recovery is there. We're starting over a new kind of face in the relationship um, I think it can be they might be mad about each other with each other right now 
but later I think they will reconcile and, and I think they'll try it again maybe in their relationship so what is the advice for you regarding this person okay, we have the page of wands so the cards You know, from one side they can talk, um, they have very sexual cards actually, uh, so I don't know how this is working in a relationship, but it could say, you know, resist from, for some of you might say, you know, it's a good relationship for a physical relationship only or it was a relationship, a physical relationship only, you know, kind of a physical things. But if you really want, for other people you can say actually, if you want planning on contacting them, contacting them and they seem to be resisting, then it's better to uh, try and not contact them so that, you know, it doesn't get worse. Yeah, it does show like it's about to finish this relationship. Like you've been thinking about walking away. You've been feeling unhappy about needing to walk away. But um, but maybe you keep thinking about this person, especially the physical part of the relationship. Maybe it was very successful. But uh, if there seems to be like no end or uh, like illusion the person might be you know I, I don't know married or something and they might act cruel when it comes to you um, so I think there has been an element in this relationship that really made you mad about them and you can't forget the memories that were in this relationship because the parts were really good. Some parts of this were really good. But how to say? But I think for them, they have a lot better control than you. They are able to forget a lot better about things or something. So I think they've moved on, but you are not able to move on, although you know you should. But I hope that, you know, time will heal these wounds or, or this relationship. So I might be wrong about this um, because some things don't make sense for me in this. Um, for example, um, the feelings are very nice, but, you know, intentions are not nice. So how does it work? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please share it in the comments. Uh, did it resonate with your situations? Um, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, weekend. Bye-bye.